When it comes to building the actual visualizations in Tableau, it's so simple. Drag and drop is the name of the game, but there's another way to do it if you're a complete beginner, which I personally still continue to use, which is the show me function. Now it basically guides you through how many fields you need to build a certain type of visualization. Then in one click, it does it for you in an instant. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you the show me function. So what is that? Okay, let's head over here to Tableau and here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see this button. And you'll remember when we built the pie chart, we actually made use of this. So if I click it, it brings it up. If I click it again, it minimizes it. If I open it and then I move it, I can kind of have it somewhere on the screen. I've never seen the purpose of <laughs> having to actually move this. I'm totally fine with just be just it being up here. So I only use the show me for the pie chart in terms of uh, teaching you guys. And the reason I didn't want to start with this because I don't want you to develop the habit that every time you're going to build something, you go straight to this. And the main reason is once you get more advanced and you start building more complicated things, you need a really solid foundation of how visualizations are actually built um, kind of at its core, you know, using the components. Why do we put it in there? Or why do we put it in rows? Or why do we use text? Or why do we have a certain order in the hierarchy? And if you just rely on show me too much, you end up not developing those skills and you can't learn those more advanced things. So that's why we don't do it. But now that you've kind of got an idea of how it works, I'm going to show you um, how the show me function really helps. If you open it up and you've got, you know, an empty screen, you'll notice that they're all blanked out. Right? And the main reason is uh, that they're blanked out and you can't click on anything is because if you look down here, you're going to see this guide. And the guide pretty much tells you how many dimensions you need and how many measures you need in order to build that visualization. Now, this is usually set at a minimum, right? Meaning like, let's say I'm doing a tree map, it goes one or more dimensions or one or two measures. Okay, so it actually gives you an idea. So again, what are dimensions? What are measures? It's really nicely split up here. These are all your dimensions. These are all your measures. So measures being anything you can do mathematics on. So counts, you know, sums, functions, all that kind of stuff you can do on your measures. So let's build one. I'm going to do the pie chart. So I've got here the pie chart. And if I look down at the bottom, it goes one or more dimensions, one or two measures. So basically one of each. So what I can do is I can pick any one of these. And you can pick any that you like. Let's say I'm going to pick Metro Regional. I'm going to press that. Then I'm going to hold control. And as soon as I press one of the green ones, right, so one of the measures, watch what happens to show me. Suddenly you have all the options up here of, oh, okay, these two, at a minimum, you can build all these different types of visualizations, right? So it's pretty cool. So if I pick the pie chart, I straight away have a pie chart. And this is probably, <laughs> this is probably a bad example. Uh, let's pick let's pick a different one. Maybe not metro regional. Let's do um, da, 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 da. let's do result and actually let's do state, the new one that we made, and then regional surcharge or I think delivery fee. Let's do that one instead. And let's pick the pie, and we have our pie right. So it's really easy to build. Tableau has put in everything that we need to the pie setting here in order to make a pie. So what if we wanted to build something else? I'm going to go back. Let's say I wanted to build a, uh, let's do something different. Let's say a tree map. Okay, we're going to be doing tree maps uh, a lot more later on. But here it says I need one or more dimensions, one or two measures. So let's pick a few. I'm going to do metro regional and let's do two dimensions. And I'm going to pick state group. And then I also need one or two, uh, one or more measures. Let's just do delivery fee for now. And now we have the tree map. Uh, available. So tree maps are also known as hierarchy maps. So just in case someone uses that word as well. So we click on that. And we now have a tree map. And the way we read this is it's kind of broken up into main sections, you can kind of see this little gap here. Okay? And each of these big groups, right, is um, split by metro, and then by state and group. Okay, so you have here all your metros. Here you have uh, so there's no metro regional set here. You have all your regionals and then you have all your others. If you want to see them split better with colors, right, this higher level metro, we can drop into color and that's a little bit easier to see. So again, another nice way of building a visualization. Let's do uh, one more uh, because we're going to really go into detail in a lot of this. Let's do this one, one of my favorites. So pack the bubble, one or more dimensions and one or two measures. So this one is really good 
if you have a lot of rows of data and a lot of variations. So for example, we can use result for this one. So result and one measure. So let's say delivery fee. And we pick the packed bubble at the bottom. And you can build bubbles like this. Great. Okay, so that's what the show me function does. And the really cool thing is once you've built something, you can actually switch between them. So let me show you an example. Let's say I'm building, let's say I don't have this and I build some sort of bar chart. Okay, so let's say I'm going to do postcodes. Okay, I'm going to do delivery fees. Uh, I want a delivery fee bar. I want a delivery fee color, maybe something like that. And I build it and I'm like, mm, this isn't really showing me anything really interesting. Let me go to show me. Maybe there's another way to show this data. Oh, hey, what about this? Let me try the map. So if I click on that, suddenly I have the map. All right. So it's really nice to be able to switch between them. Uh, I can go to a column, maybe. So you can see this is one of the other things would show me, right? If you rely on it too much. Tableau can't convert every single setup to something that looks really pretty straight away, right? So if that's why I don't want you to rely on it too much. So let's say I go here to the hierarchy. Again, this doesn't really tell me anything, but it gives you the bare bones. So maybe I have all the postcodes and I want to group them by state. Okay, now that's making a little bit more sense. And then maybe I want it metro regional, okay? Split up in between or something like that. Maybe I want it like that or something else, whatever it might be. Okay, so that's how you use the show me. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.